I spat on them. I was born. <laughs> I pulled up. 29th, 1924, that makes me 85 years old. Today's date is July the 17th, 2009. Can we try that all again? No! A little more fluid? <laughs> no! I was born in Pittsburgh 85 years ago. We lived in several different areas. One was Hawk Run next door to my grandparents. If there were if there's any saints in heaven, my grandmother's there. She was the best person on the earth for everybody. And when I grew older, every summer I would spend at least a week with her and it was the best week in the whole year. Well, that's when we lived next door to Granny Greenland. Dad went fishing and I was probably four and Short was little, almost three. Two and a half, I'd say. Well, anyhow, Dad had this little fish that was probably six inches long, and he wanted to take Short's picture with it. Well, Short was scared to death of it. So he said, well, he told me to get there and get a hold of it. So I did. I was as scared as Short was, but I wasn't giving in. <laughs> a little teeny fish. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and then if there were thunderstorms, Mom would get us out of bed and take us down and make us stand at the front door until the storm was over. <laughs> she was frightened of them and she frightened us all the more and Dad would be up sleeping. <laughs> a lot of days it was so cold, anything, if you had a basin of water sitting in the bedroom, it was ice. We had a thunder jug <laughs> in the bedroom. Thunder jug, th thunder, thunder mug, th thunder jug we called it. For a long time we didn't have a telephone, but when it finally came around, why, we thought that was great. You were on a party line, or probably four or five other parties on it, and it was a crank telephone, so. But if the phone rang, everybody in the neighborhood picked it up, no matter whose it was. And you knew everybody was listening when it was your call. You do the same thing to them. <laughs> Things were tough when I was growing up. It was that after the depression, so naturally any money to amount to anything. Kids growing up, we didn't have toys. We didn't miss them because we didn't know about them. They didn't have televisions advertising everything that they that was available. So we made up our own games. We would take empty vegetable cans and put them on the ground and each one would have probably 10 stones and stand so far back and try to put the stone in the can. Whoever put the most in actually won. We played hopscotch, we ran hoops, which was a wheel with a wire that you pushed. And as far as birthdays, we did, nobody celebrated birthdays. They came and went, nobody even knew it. And Christmas was, very small. We'd go out and get a tree and decorate it, but if we got candy and an orange or candy and an apple, we thought we were blessed. Or a tangerine. That was fantastic. I don't recall ever getting toys, but we could have just slipped my mind, but I don't think it would have slipped my mind. But we didn't know any better. We were thankful to have what we got. Things, things were just bad. Dad did everything in his power to keep working and making some kind of money. And when we went to school, we looked like little waifs because most of our clothes were hand-me-downs. I don't remember getting anything new for quite a while. And I don't know where the handyman things came down from. Maybe cousins and maybe, I don't know. But we always looked pretty bedraggled, but I think everybody else looked pretty much the same. But I do remember one time Mom and I, and I don't know whether anybody else was in town, in Phillipsburg, the metropolis, and we were all walking down the street and in the window was a red dress with ruffles and black velvet around the ruffles. 
And I seen that dress and I loved it. And I thought, oh, I told Mom what a beautiful dress. Well, needless to say, somehow or other she happened to be able to buy it and didn't tell me about it. And it was, that was one of the best presents I think I ever got. That red dress was just fantastic. I should have had it bronzed. It was so special. I wish I'd have kept it. In fact, I don't know what happened to it. But I would wear that to church or anything going on to school that mom and dad had to go to because we didn't go to school activities like baseball games or football games or anything. Anything, any place I could wear, but never at school because it was too special. So anyhow, that was that was one dress that, well, one gift that was the highlight of my life. Let's go on some.